course, it's the middle of summer, and that means lots of things for lots of people. If you're a baseball fan, it's the all-star game, but if you're a resident of Butler County, it means only one thing, and that's the Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce's Business Expo. We're here today with lots of businesses here, lots of action on the floor, and I'm here with the man who controls it all, the President and CEO of the Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce, Kenny Craig. Kenny, it looks like it's starting off to be a great day. It certainly does, Bill. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, the sounds that I'm hearing is exactly what I want to hear. A lot of people wandering the hall, talking to businesses, making purchases. That's why we have this business expo. It's, it's a great venue for connections any way you cut it. I know we've been here, Butler Tech's been here for, for many years. We love the connections we make at this event, and I think that's what draws a lot of people out. It's our 22nd year of doing this event, and uh, this year we did something different. We haven't done it in a few years. We had a luncheon. And I think virtually every one of those people at the luncheon came out of the expo, and that's why I'm hearing all this noise right now. Yeah, what was an outstanding event got even better this year, the first time we've had a luncheon in some time. Outstanding luncheon speaker, great talk. It's an event you really need to put on your calendar. Bill, the voices I'm hearing, the sounds I'm hearing, exactly what we want to hear, because that means purchases are taking place, business connections are happening. But you know, there's, there's one voice, one person is not with us here this year. And we'd like to dedicate the expo to Glenn Stacy this year, who passed away earlier this year. He was the chairman of our board in 2006 and a very active member of the Business Expo Committee. And every year supplied a lot of the planners you see throughout the hall. So this year, the expo is dedicated to our good friend, Glenn Stacy. Folks, we've got uh, some, some businesses we're going to introduce to you. We've got lots of folks for you to meet, so stay tuned. We've got some great video ahead. I'm joined now by Greg Osman from Mercy Health Fairfield Hospital, uh, a fantastic organization in our neighborhood, and Greg himself, perhaps one of the most dapper gentlemen at the expo today. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing fine, Bill. Let me ask you, how are you enjoying the expo so far? I think it's a tremendous crowd, as usual. It's well organized. I've found a lot of interesting vendors here, and what more could a person ask for? <laughs> Listen, Mercy Health is so widely known in the, in the neighborhood. Why do you feel a need to be at an event like this? Doesn't everyone already know about you folks? Well, they may know about us to some degree, but there's always new programs, obviously, that we need to inform the public about and programs that have really taken off. For instance, today we're featuring our bariatric program, Healthy Weight Solutions. Obesity is an epidemic in the United States, and we have some good solution to that. Greg, I'm particularly thankful you could look at me, talk about obesity, and keep a straight face, so I want to thank you for that. Um, is there a particular website or phone number that people can use to contact the Bariatric Center in particular? Well, they can call 870-7000, that's the general operator's number, and they can connect you. Fantastic. I know uh, we, we have a big problem in this country with obesity. I think more and more folks are looking to see what they can do about that. So uh, a center devoted to those sorts of issues is very much needed in the community. Well, I fight that problem. Loads of people fight it, and uh, we need to do better. Well. Here, here. I, I second that thought, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Osman from the uh, Mercy Health Fairfield Hospital and their new bariatric center. If you have concerns about your weight or the weight of a loved one, please contact them today. I'm joined now by Ken Keller. Ken's one of the exhibitors here at the 22nd Annual Hamilton Chamber of Commerce Business Expo. Ken, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about your company and what you folks do. Well, we're Ro we are Ross Occupational Health, and we're located in the Ross Medical Building on on Route 27, and um, we're really glad to be here again as part of Greater Hamilton and Greater Cincinnati. Um, we have been in our present location now for about four years and have been expanding uh, very well in terms of occupational medicine. We have something that's a little bit different. We have a traditional occupational medicine practice that's there eight to five, Monday through Friday, five days a week. But we're also affiliated with our urgent care there as well, which is present seven days a week. And in terms of after hours coverage, well, we're a division of McCullough Hyde Hospital. So we have 24-hour uh, emergency medicine access. What we do is we have a uh, traditional occupational medicine practice and that the usual things you would think of, we have the full service line of physicals, injury care, drug screens, uh, specialty physicals for resp respirator exams, asbestos exams, and those sorts of things. One of the things we also do with regard to our injury cares, we pay particular attention to that injury care and management 
and we also partner with some of our, uh, our larger clients in, uh, in Greater Hamilton and in Greater Cincinnati area in terms of wellness and in terms of general health initiatives to help companies not just look at their, at their occupational health bottom line, but their general health bottom line. I see. Well, it sounds like you've got all sorts of different services that you can offer the community. Well, we do, and, and not just the usual things, but some things that we think are very progressive in terms of, in terms of looking at, 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 at an organization's not just one part of their health, but their, but their entire health. That's very important. That's very important. In today's world, the health picture is all comprehensive. So I can see where a facility of yours is a great asset to our community. Ken, is there a particular number or website you would direct people to to, to find out more? Well, we're always available at area code 513-856-7360. You can also find us on the McCullough Hyde website, uh, which, is, which is under construction and it's not, not, not perfect right now. Uh, we're looking forward to we're looking forward to it being so within the next few months. But uh, the best way right now is probably our phone number and uh, always available. We would look forward to uh, speaking with anyone uh, about, about any issues that they might have with regard to their occupational health, any of their business health needs, or any of their general health needs. Great, great. And the name of your company, one more time. Ross Occupational Health. Thank you. This has been Ken Keller with Ross Occupational Health, your total service healthcare facility. I'm now joined by Rudy Ratman with All Wealth. Rudy, you've got a booth out here at the Business Expo. How are things going for you so far today? So far, pretty good. We've had a, a lot of uh, people come by and uh, we've got a bunch of freebies and uh, giveaways and people are certainly taking advantage of that. Well, fantastic. Well, tell us more about what's going on at All Wealth right now. All Wealth, we're having a pretty tremendous year, 2011. That was our most recent calendar year, if you will. And, we had tremendous numbers, uh, finished number one in the state for uh, share growth, number one in the state for loan growth, and number three in the state for membership growth. So Hamilton's really came out and supported the uh, West Side location, and we want to thank them for that because without Hamilton, we wouldn't be where we are today, so. Well, fantastic. Listen, if I'm somebody that's viewing this today, what can All Wealth do for me? Well, we are a full service financial institution, so any need that you have, whether it's cars, boats, motorcycles, mortgages, visas, debit cards, anything that you get at a traditional, if you will, bank, come to your local credit union, hopefully all wealth, and uh, we can take care of you hopefully much better, much cheaper, much easier, and um, easier on your pocketbook, which is better for you, which is what we're all about. Absolutely. Everyone has to manage their money, and it's a shame to have to pay a lot of fees to get that done. Yeah, we're pretty much the anti-fee credit union. Um, fees, uh, it's it, purely a money grab. I mean, and uh, banks certainly seem to be experts at it. And um, we don't know our way on fees, and we're trying to keep it that way. Um, yeah, stick with the credit union. Hopefully, all will. Yeah, well, that uh, that'll make your customers very happy, I'm sure. Is there a particular phone number or website you like to direct people to to make contact with All Wealth? Sure, you can either call 868-5881 or go to allwealth.org and get anything that any information that you need and um, come and check us out. I think you'll like what you find. Wonderful. Rudy, thanks so much for being with us today. Folks, All Wealth Credit Union, it's going to be your one-stop financial services institution and they're not going to nickel and dime you with fees. I'm joined now by Brett Abner with Butler Water Systems. Brett, welcome to the Business Expo. Thanks a lot, Bill. Appreciate it. You've got a booth here today. Have you seen a lot of people come by? We ha we do have a booth here, and uh, yeah, there's been quite a bit of traffic. It's uh, It's been good. That's fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit about Butler Water Systems. Systems. What do you do, and, and why should people seek you out? Well, um, we uh, we help people to clean their water. Uh, we, we do it through several different methods. Um, you know, through uh, for drinking water, as far as filtration for that. And then we also help folks with their bathing and their working water uh, to remove uh, different contaminants and uh, chlorine and some other things. Well, if, if somebody's on a, oh, a city water system, isn't that clean enough? Do they need to do anything to their water? Well, um, you know, the, uh, the city does a great job. Um, they, they really do, uh, obviously, recognized uh, several years ago as uh, the, the best tasting municipal water. Uh, in the country, uh, as a lot of people know. Um, the thing about city water is that um, it is uh, really hard water in this area. Uh, and then also, you know, there's, uh, there's a decent amount of chlorine in the water. So, you know, one of the th ways that we help folks is we remove those things from the water 
so that you get a, a significant fuel savings in your hot water heater each month. Uh, can be up to 30% wow. uh, fuel savings. And then also, um, so that your skin is a lot softer and your skin can actually breathe because with hard water it actually clogs your pipes and plumbing and it also clogs your pores. Wow, very important. A lot of important. skin conditions, so. So even though we have great water here in Hamilton, you can make it even better and healthier for us. Correct, yep. That, Wonderful. That, that, that is true. Well, Brett, is there a particular phone number or website you'd like to direct people to to make contact with Butler Water? Yeah, basically uh, the best number to reach us at, we're just in Fairfield uh, on Pleasant Avenue there. It's 513-863-5700. Uh, Okay, fantastic. Thanks so much for being with us today, Brett. Folks, even if you have great Hamilton City water and it tastes fantastic, Butler Water Systems can make it even more healthy. Call them today. I'm with James Yancey right now from Cincinnati Bell. James, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. Hey, we know you folks are big supporters of the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce Business Expo, and we really do appreciate that. Uh, we're definitely glad to be a part of this. It's a very, very lively event. A lot of people are coming up to the to the booth and asking a lot of questions, and um, it's just really good how nice everyone is and receptive everybody is. Well, fantastic. You know, Cincinnati Bell's a household word around here. People have their landline phones, their cell phones, all sorts of services. You guys have any number of different benefits to customers. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in Cincinnati Bell and what we need to know. Well, Cincinnati Bell has a, a lot going on. We definitely are revamping, especially with the whole fiber optics um, push, fiber optics television. Um, it's going in different neighborhoods piece by piece, and we're trying to get to everywhere as soon as we possibly can. Um, but also, we still have our regular old phones. We call them plain old phones because <laughs> that's exactly what they are, you know, mom, pa, bail, uh, and the internet services. And when the internet tied along with the fiber optics, it's very, very fast speed. It's the fastest speed in town. So. That's fantastic. And uh, wireless, for instance, uh, we have a wonderful wireless offer coming up. We have um, buy one, get one free, all smartphones. So we have this brand new HTC One S um, phone we got out right now. Um, all, uh, every single um, one, if you buy one, they all are free. So you can buy one and get one for free, no problem. Wow. And we also have buy one, get one free um, um, data, not buy one, get one half off data plans also. So um, we're really doing a big push trying to make sure we take care of the customers um, and be very competitive in this big pond of, of wireless and telephone networking. It really is competitive. People have lots of choices yes. these days, but that's a great deal on a mm -hmm. smartphone like that, getting uh, buy one, get one free, and then buy one half off a uh, second data package. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, and also we have a wonderful and unlimited um, plan well, the first two lines is only ninety dollars. That's unlimited minutes and unlimited text. So that's keeping us very competitive in there because uh, we see where the market is going. Everyone is want to talk more, uh, oh. and everyone wants internet. And it's just like you know, who would have thought it? Remember years ago, people had a phone in a bag, and you oh, can't yeah. find a pay phone anywhere. <laughs> so now you got to have a cell phone. So I remember, you know, cell phone used to be a, a a class statement, but now you know everybody has a cell phone. So we're just trying to meet everybody's needs and where they want to be, but still keep that great Cincinnati Bell pricing that we're known for. Well, I know with deals like you just told us about, people are most definitely going to want to make contact. Uh, let me ask you, how should people contact Cincinnati Bell? You got a phone number or a website? Uh, yeah, well, I'm based out of the Westchester store. You can always go to CincinnatiBell.com. Um, my number at the store is 513-759-2628. Um, you can also email me personally. It's james.yancey, which is Y-A-N-C-E-Y at sinbell.com. Be more than happy to answer any questions that anyone may have. Fantastic. And I'm guessing if they make contact with you personally, you'll cut them the best deal they're going to oh, find anywhere. Oh, yes, the best deal. You won't find any better deal unless you talk to James Yanty himself. Fantastic. <laughs> James, thanks so much for being with us thanks today. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Folks, Cincinnati Bell is a name that you've known for years, and now they cut you the best deals possible on those wonderful cell phone packages. You know you're going to have them. Why not save money with Cincinnati Bell? Call them today. I'm joined now by Sean Stidham from Courtyard by Marriott. Sean, welcome to the Business Expo. Good to see you again, thank you. Good, hey, we're having a great day out here. Lots of folks are out here, lots of buzz, lots yep. of business. How's the traffic at the Courtyard booth? Traffic is going great. It's been a tremendous summer, a lot of events in the area. We've been able to take care of a lot of people uh, with things like the uh, archery championship recently and the cornhole tournament. So a lot of things going on in the area. Uh, one thing we're very excited about that a lot of people have seen the signs for is the Plaza One Grill restaurant. We relaunched that. If you've not been inside yet, a lot of changes. We put some new structure in place 
Sunday, so it's a little more of an intimate atmosphere than it was previously. More seasonal menus, an expanded wine list. So a lot of people who locally are looking for a great place for that, you know, that business after hours or getting out that special occasion or just want a great meal, we're, we're perfect for that. You know, I got to tell you, I have been to your facility and I've, I've had a, a few meals there. It was fantastic Thank to begin you. with. Thank I, you. I, man, if there's improvement, I got to get back. It, it, it's a tremendous atmosphere and I think people that were looking for maybe something a little more intimate, more private, um, are going to be very happy with the changes. Uh, as far as the hotel goes, we just received a certificate of excellence from TripAdvisor. Uh, so we continue to get very strong reviews for our guest service and our satisfaction. So if anybody has people coming in from out of town and you don't want to clean up their mess, you don't want to deal with them, send them over to us. We will take tremendous care of them. That's it exactly. I think some people don't take advantage of that. Uh, if I'm that out-of-town visitor, I don't want to be a burden on my friend or my relative who's invited me over. I look for a great place like Courtyard by Marriott to stay to relieve them of that burden. And especially if it's somebody coming in that has kids. We've got the pool. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things they can do, they can relax, and it's just a tremendous atmosphere, and uh, we continue to be very well supported by the community. We're very blessed for that. We thank everybody for their support, and it's an event like this, as you said, the buzz, and to be able to see the different businesses and people coming in and going, wow, Hamilton has this and Hamilton has that. It's like, yes, we do, and we're very proud of it, and come back again. That's fantastic, Sean. I Thank know you. people are going to want to make contact with you. How should they reach out to Courtyard by Marriott? Several different ways. Calling us, obviously, 513-896-6200. We have our website, courtyardhamiltonohio.com. And as far as the restaurant, Plaza One Grill, there's a new website. Not up yet, but soon to be up. So go ahead and start checking for it, plazaonegrill.com. Great, thanks. Thank you. I'm joined now by Karen Underwood from Richard's Pizza. Karen, welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here again this year. You know, the Business Expo always su draws such a big crowd to all the booths, but i got to tell you, the longest line in the place is always in front of Richard's Pizza. Well, we brought a lot of food here today, so if anybody's hungry, that would be the place to line up. You know, I'm going to hope that at some point this tape is viewed by somebody who's really hungry and they don't have anything in the house. I want to torture them right now. Let's talk a little bit about what Richard's has. Oh, well, today we're featuring some new items here, and that's all of our barbecue pizzas. Ooh. And they are good. If you like barbecue, you like barbecue flavor, we're actually using the Sweet Baby Ray's original barbecue sauce, oh, which is stuff. very popular, especially in this area. And when you put that on a pizza and you put the grilled chicken slices, and then we put a little bacon and we put a combination of the mozzarella provolone and cheddar cheeses, What's really good is the one pizza we have, it's actually called the Texan Cowboy Pizza. Oh, I need to know more about this. Well, like I said, it's that chicken and the bacon and the cheddar cheeses, and then we actually saute onions and green peppers, oh. put that on top of the cheese, and then we drizzle ranch dressing on top. Fresh, homemade ranch. Wow. It, it's like um, putting... Um, blue cheese on a chicken wing, blue cheese dressing on mm -hmm. a chicken wing. It's like putting the ranch dressing on the hot barbecue pizza with mm. the chicken. It's, it's very good. Fantastic. I'm hungry right already. Right over here. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, we can actually smell that from where we're sitting. That's that's yes. wonderful. Yes. And then we, we've got one that's uh, an Idaho potato pizza and we put the big mm. steak fries on with a little bit of bacon and your cheddar cheese and your onions and put the barbecue sauce on and Oh my goodness, honey, I can tell you what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> You'll have to stop by Richard's on the way. <laughs> That's right. Stop by the booth. There might be a pizza or two left over. There you go. <laughs> well, listen, after that description, I know people are going to want to pick up the phone and contact Richard's right now. How yeah. can they do that? Uh, well, we have five locations in Butler County. So if I sat here and said all five phone numbers, you probably would not remember them. <laughs> but if you go to richardspizza.com, all of the locations, the maps, how to get there, the entire menu, uh, the barbecue items, the listing for the barbecue items is on the front home page of our website, and that is richardspizza.com. You know, right now, people are starting their browsers, and there's going to be a lot of traffic to that <laughs> website. <laughs> that sounds good. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Folks, if you haven't had a Richard's Pizza lately, you need one today. And that barbecued pizza is on my short list of what to have for dinner the rest of this week. Thanks so much to Richard's Pizza. Call them today. My guest now is Dirk Allen. Dirk is with Baden High School. And Dirk, welcome to the Expo. Thank you, Bill. Great to be here. Great to see you here again. Appreciate you being the MC as always. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. It's been a, been a real good year at uh, Baden, Bill. Um, 
you know, we graduated a class of 101 students, which wasn't a real large class, but it was a tremendous class. We're going to bring in more than 150 freshmen. So wow. we're excited about that. You know, that's, uh, that's the third consecutive year that our freshman class will be the biggest in the school. So that's a great trend. And, uh, you know, you say, well, why is this happening? I think uh, a lot of marketing. I think very positive word of mouth. I think uh, some of the things we're doing are really uh, paying some dividends. iPads for all students next year. Wow. We were only the second high school in the state of Ohio to put together a one-to-one -one iPad programs for students. And Bill, you're in the business. You know how important technology is, particularly in today's day and age. So I think uh, a lot of good things going on. You know, you looked around Baden High School today. We're, we're putting in air conditioning in our academic wing. That's a $450,000 project. Oh, boy. Our principal, Brian Pendergast, is on, on top of a lot of these moves. And uh, it's just very positive, and it's great to have the Business Expo here at Baden High School. You know, it's a great facility. This is a fantastic site for this event, and Baden has been just ever so cooperative and hospitable. Fantastic location. We thank you for all you do to make this happen. Well, it's our pleasure to do it. You know, I think it is a good site, and we think uh, the attendance this year looks like it's even better than it has been in the past. Uh, you were the MC at the luncheon today. What a great event that was, uh, great food, and uh, Monica Scalf, a uh, very interesting motivational speaker, I think. Uh, so I think all in all, this has been a really good day. It sure has. You know, uh, Baden, has, again, has been so kind in hosting this event today, a and they're just one of many outstanding educational institutions we're blessed to have in, in Hamilton, in Butler County at large. But you know, they've already always had that special reputation. Baden, I think, is... It's just kind of a cut above. I think that's what a lot of people's perception is. Why do you think that's so strongly well, held? We, we feel real good about the, the school here. I think, uh, you know, being a Catholic school, I think the atmosphere in the hallways is very positive. I think the parents, you know, they're, they're sacrificing to, to pay money to send their kids to school, so they're paying attention to it. And I think uh, when I ask our students, what's the number one asset of Baden High School? Invariably, what they tell me is how friendly it is, how friendly everybody is, what a welcoming environment it is. And I'll ask some students who maybe didn't come from one of our direct feeder schools, is this true or do we just say that it's true? And they say, no, Mr. Allen, it's really true. So I think, uh, you know, you combine a strong academic program with the really positive environment and... Uh, you know, it makes for a very good school. I've been here for 11 years now, Bill, and, uh, you know, they, the students have energy. I have to have energy. It's been a great place to be. That's great. Well, listen, I'm sure some of our viewers are going to take their word to heart and say, that's the place for my son or daughter to go. How can they make contact with Baden? Well, we'd love to have them. They can call me. I'm the admissions director at 863-3993, extension 120. You can get on our website, badenhs.org, and uh, we have admissions material on our website. You can contact me through email, dallen at badenhs.org. So lots of ways to get in touch with me, and we'd love to hear from you. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Dirk, for being with us today. We sure do appreciate that. Bill, thank you. Folks, uh, Baden High School, one of the educational jewels in Butler County with an atmosphere tailored to your children's needs. I'm joined now by Ed Larkin with Rose Automotive. That's certainly a name you folks know. Ed, welcome to the Business Expo. Thanks, Bill. Pleasure to be here. Hey, it's a, a big buzz here today. we got lots of folks around. How's the traffic been at your booth at the Expo? Traffic has been uh, very good. I was a little overwhelmed when I first walked in. I did, didn't get here to start the show, but uh, the people manning our booth said the uh, reception has been fantastic. Well, tell us what's new at Rose Automotive. What's, what's happening today? Uh, well, happening today is, of course, we're selling uh, vehicles and servicing lots of vehicles. Some of the new things we've started is outside uh, here. We actually have started a mobile detail where we will actually come to people's businesses and um, wash the employees' cars, and while they're at work, it saves them time and adds convenience. Uh, so we have that on display here today. It's part of our auto spa where we've really created a whole reconditioning center if people have minor you know cosmetic issues that they want to get taken care of we have a division that can do that for less than what usually their insurance deductible is uh, still expanding our service department as far as the makes and models that we work on so uh, plenty new happening 
Boy, it sure sounds like it. That's a, that's a great program you mentioned there about being able to do that service on site at companies. Well, we're fortunate we, we uh, teamed with a, a company in Fairfield called the Detail Doctor, and they help us uh, as far as manning. We have a mobile unit that goes out, and we have certain companies that we use that we can do sometimes, you know, 40, 50 vehicles in a day, and it just, it's very convenient for the consumer because rather than take the time out of their off time to go to a car wash or do it themselves, they get it done while it's uh, while they're at work. That sounds like a great benefit. Yeah. Hey, listen, I've seen some really exciting things happening in some American automotive lines today. Tell us about what you think are the hot movers. Well, there's uh, really, we have a wide aspect of all manufacturers make and model. And really in the automobile industry completely, there's a lot of neat models, a lot of good, uh, reliable, performance vehicles and just family vehicles, everything, whether it's Ford, Chrysler, GM, Toyota, Honda, Kia, all of them have put out putting out a very good product. Do you have any special deals or promotions going on right now? Well, currently we have a group of vehicles on our lot that we have online and even uh, we've advertised that we're doing for a $199 a month special. Wow. Now, it does require tax and title down, but there's very good terms and very attractive interest rates right now where you can get get a lot of car and great value for your money. Well, that's fantastic. That's that's a wonderful price. I can tell you it's a it's a lot less than what I'm paying right now. Well, it, it's it's fortunate and it's not a vehicle that has a lot of miles on. It's not an older vehicle. We have, you know, probably a group of uh, between 5 and 10 that qualify and that's easy on the budget. Oh, I'll say. Well, listen, when people hear those kind of prices, they're going to want to make contact with Rose Automotive. Uh, is there a particular website or phone number you want people to use? Well, our website is www.roseautomotivegroup.com, and then the uh, phone number is 863-7878. Fantastic. Ed, thanks so much for being with us today at the Business Expo. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Folks, you're looking for great cars at fantastic prices. Rose Automotive Group is who you need to contact. Give them a buzz today. My guest now is Molly Yeager from Rumpke. That's a household name. Everyone knows the Rumpke organization, and they service a lot of our area. Molly, thanks for being with us here today. Thanks for having me. You know, Rumpke is a, a service that we all count on so much, and you folks just do an outstanding job, <laughs> whether it's raining or snowing or anything, making sure that our waste products are taken care of. So first of all, thank you as a homeowner. You guys help us out quite a bit. Glad to hear. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, there's always new things going on at Rumpke. Mm -hmm. Tell us what, uh, what's happening out there right now. Well, today, uh, one of the things that we're trying to promote is recycling, that you can not only recycle at home, but you can recycle at work. So we're here trying to get some of the other businesses in the Butler County area to add recycling to their service off offering so that when you go to their store or you go to their place of business, you might be able to re recycle the same things you can at home. Well, that's fantastic. And, and I know, for example, where I work, we have a couple little kitchenettes, so mm -hmm. we're, we're generating things like uh, soda cans and plastic mm -hmm. bottles and whatnot, and, and yeah, the wise thing to do is to recycle those. Mm -hmm. I mean, more than half of what people throw away on a daily basis could be recycled, and you don't do it all at home. You do it at work, you do it at home, you do it on the go. So we're even trying to get recycling at different events throughout the area as well. That's fantastic, and I know it's very common. If you're going to festivals and whatnot, you'll see those rumpy bins that you're going to drop your recyclables in. That's right. We want you. We want to make sure we capture all those water bottles, all those aluminum cans. With being so hot, we know people are out drinking those bottles of water today. Absolutely, and you know you're helping the environment. Exactly. Exactly. That's anything thing. you can do to help reduce your waste would be great. Well, we know you're the first name in recycling in our area, and we appreciate everything you do. And, right. and we'll try to make that a, a more habitual practice no matter where we are, whether it's homework or on the go. That's great. Thanks so much. Thank you for being with us today, Molly. No problem. Uh, folks, uh, we want to take care of the environment. We know you do, too. When you look for recycling services, look no further than Rumpke. My guest right now is Jamie Dunn with Parkside Nursing and Rehabilitation. Jamie, welcome to the Business Expo. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a lot of traffic uh, all through the Business Expo, and I imagine a lot of folks are coming to visit you people at your booth, aren't they? They are. They are, and we're very excited to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about Parkside Nursing and Rehabilitation. What do you do, and why should people be interested? Um, Parkside is a 76-bed skilled facility nursing. Um, we offer everything from we have a ventilator unit to rehab, private rehab rooms. Um, so we have a wide range of the acuity of care that we mm -hmm. offer there. Um, we're a nice small facility, so I think people enjoy that it's a more of a family-like atmosphere there. So do you folks see folks um, uh, who are 
looking for elder care, looking for rehabilitation. What, what's a typical customer like? We do. Actually, that is the thing, we have a variety. Like I said, we have the high acuity, which is a ventilator unit, mm -hmm. and we see a lot of wounds, but then our other side is a rehab unit where we have private rooms for you know any knee or any surgery that you would have over there. So it is, it's a wide, it's a range at our facility, which is nice. That is nice. And like you say, with a small size, I imagine you can give a little bit more individualized care to the folks we you do. take care of. We do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, I know people are going to want to make contact with you folks. How should they reach out? Um, you can give us a call. Our number is 868-6500. And you can ask, if you're interested in admitting to our facility, you can ask for admissions. And then they'll put you through to us and we'll talk to you. Wonderful. Do you have a website people could visit? It's embassyhealthcare.com. So, uh, whether web or phone, they can reach out to you and talk about a, a great a great healthcare facility in Parkside. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Jamie, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Folks, Parkside Nursing and Rehabilitation, that's special care for your loved one. My guest right now is Kent Bryson with Hamilton City School District. Kent, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. You know, the Business Expo has been a, an event that's been going on for uh, 22 years now. This is 22nd annual, and uh, we're having a great day today. I assume a lot of people are coming by and checking out Hamilton City Schools. A lot of people are coming by, and we're very proud of our career technical education program. We actually offer 12 programs at Hamilton High, and uh, it's a very exciting time for us right now because attendance is up. Uh, we really feel great about everything we're doing to help prepare the kids for to be good citizens after graduation. Fantastic. You know, Hamilton City Schools is such a strong school district, and, and having their own career technical division, I think, is just a great boon to, to Hamilton. I, and, it, and it is, because we, we believe that the difference between a, <coughs> excuse me, a dream and a goal is a plan, and we try to give students plans every day so when they graduate, they'll be able to go either right to work or they'll be able to attend college with articulated college credits that they've received free. That's wonderful. So so really, when a student comes to, to the career technical arm of Hamilton Schools, uh, they're getting the best of both worlds, aren't they? They are getting the best of both worlds. It, it's a comprehensive high school. They get to participate in extracurricular activities, but at the same time, they get to work on a career, and also they get a chance to receive articulated college credits, which is it's a double whammy. It's a double. It's, it's a good. huge advantage to a student. They we, they already have some credits under their belt before yes, they sir. even get to college. Yes, sir. Boy, you folks do a great job, and I'm sure once people see this, they're going to want to make contact with you. How should they reach out to the Career Technical Division? Uh, we prefer that they go to HamiltonCitySchools.net and click on Career Technical Education, and our website will come up with all the different phone numbers that they need to call if they want to contact when they want to contact. Okay. Us. Very good. Kent, we can't thank you enough for being with us today. We sure appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Career Technical Division of Hamilton City Schools preparing your students for the best of both worlds. My guest right now is Jody Gunderson with the City of Hamilton Economic Development Department. Jody, welcome to the Expo. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, you talk about economic development, and really the Expo is all about that. These are vital businesses in the Hamilton community, and they're making connections with other businesses, other customers. Boy, this really indicates a little bit about the economic health of the city of Hamilton, doesn't it? You know, um, to be quite honest with you, I've only been with the city for, for seven months, but in the very short time that even I've been here, in all the work and preparation that's been done prior to my arrival, um, it's, it's a very exciting time to be certainly not only a resident of Hamilton, but certainly be an economic developer for the, for the city of Hamilton. Um, you know, the, what I tell people is that, you know, in Hamilton right now, there's, uh, there's, you can look across the community and it's not just happening in one part of the community. We have stuff happening north, south, east, and west in our community and you know it it's really bouncing back and we're kind of bucking the trend nationally in a lot of ways uh, you know we, it was just uh, in the paper not too long ago that uh, from last year to this year we saw business or rather the population growth in the community rise and probably the second in fact it said we are the second fastest growing city uh, 50,000 or more so um, you know, it, the renaissance is back. Um, we're, we're very excited about what's happening in the city. Well, that's fantastic to hear, especially from you, 
because I know people are, are typically looking to economic development professionals such as yourself to kind of get a, a read on the barometer of economic health and, and what we can expect going forward. What's your outlook for the coming year or two? Well, and, you know, just to preface my comments with, you know, economic development is it's not just about the department. It's not just about the elected officials. Really, um, the economic development is, is the way people comport themselves in, in the community. The, the fact that they bought into a strategic plan, that they're looking for bigger and better things to happen, um, that makes all of our jobs at City Hall much easier. Uh, what I see happening is I see job growth. In fact, uh, I know this year that we will, we will like, exceed last year in, in job growth, but uh, of the jobs that we have uh, lost in certain sectors, we're picking up in other sectors that are not traditionally, um, have not traditionally been found in the community. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of ways, uh, earlier in our history, we were primarily a, a manufacturing community what you're beginning to see is Hamilton reflecting more what happens and kind of a balancing of manufacturing and the service um, sector as well. Um, it's more uh, of what you'll see nationally. So I would say that we're, we're becoming more balanced. Um, we're starting to get into those sectors of the economy that uh, what we see in growth are more of the, uh, the uh, tech sector in our, our economy. So we're very excited about what's happening here. That's great. Listen, I know economic development is all about connecting and engaging with businesses. I'm sure after people view this, we may have some businesses out there that may want to connect with you. How can they reach the Department of Economic Development in the City of Hamilton? They can reach us uh, at City Hall either by our website, uh, it's an easy click on the website, or by calling uh, 7570. Um, I was going to also say that. Um, we actually have a business development team so uh, that really it is a one-stop shop for businesses that really need some of sometimes uh, they're you're experienced in business development sometimes they're just people with talent they want to take it to the marketplace we have people that can kind of hold their hand through the process and make it much much easier for them to get started so I encourage people to call and and to uh, even inquire um, how we might be able to assist them in starting a business. Fantastic. Jody, thank you so much for being with us here today. We sure appreciate it. Thank you. Folks, if you have a business now or are interested in taking your idea to the marketplace, as Jody said, the Hamilton City Economic Development Department should be your first call. Give them a buzz today. I'm with Denny Ewan from Butler Tech. Uh, Denny, welcome to the Expo. Thank you, Bill. Denny and I are actually colleagues, so uh, we both work at Butler Tech, and uh, we're here to talk about some of the adult education options that we have out at Butler Tech. Denny, what are some of the classes that we've got coming, starting up soon? Well, coming this fall, we have a lot of industrial courses starting. We have two HVAC classes, one day and one evening. Uh, we have a welding class, very popular class, starts in the evening this fall. Another police academy and fire rescue academy coming up as well. And a brand new program for pharmacy technician is going to start in September. Yeah, the pharmacy technician thing really is brand new. And there's a huge demand for that in the marketplace. Isn't that right? That is. Anybody that's done a job search online can tell you that there's a lot of pharmacy tech jobs out there right now. Wow, that's great. Now, you, you also mentioned some of the public safety programming we have. You know, a lot of people know Butler Tech is the, the school out on Route 4 that has a big high school building, and certainly that's true. But we also have a public safety education complex. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of facility that is? A uh, very nice facility. has a firing range in the basement for concealed carry as well as a police academy. has a nice big driving pad for, for the public safety programs. has a propane fuel burn building for the fire rescue academy. You see them propelling down the building. and and flames shooting out the windows. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a, a little bit of everything out there. Now, now, Denny, one of the roles that you fulfill out at Butler Tech has to do with the financial aid side of things, That's isn't correct. that right? And uh, so there is financial aid available for some of the programs. For any full-time program, there is federal financial aid available in the form of federal Pell Grants and student loans. A program has to be a minimum of 600 clock hours in length to be eligible. 
Okay. I know there's just an absolute wide range of courses that are available out at Butler Tech, and we certainly don't have time to go into all those right now, but if people wanted to make contact with the school, how should they do that? You can reach us by phone, 513-645-8200, or you can check out our website at butlertech.org. Okay. Denny, thanks so much for being with us here today. We sure appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. Folks, if you're looking for the best in adult education anywhere, you can't go wrong with Butler Tech. Huge variety, financial aid available, and they'll make you feel like the customer that deserves the best attention. So give them a buzz today. I'm with Linda Yarger from Fort Hamilton Hospital. Linda, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. What do you think of the expo so far? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. We have such wealth here in our community, don't we? We absolutely do. And speaking of wealth in the community, uh, Fort Hamilton Hospital is dead center on that. In fact, uh, this is going to make your institution sound very old in the community, but I was born at Fort Hamilton Hospital, so I'm a, I'm a proud Fort Hamilton patient. Well, congratulations on that. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about what's going on at Fort Hamilton today instead of ancient history when I was born. Well, I'll tell you what, every time I sit down with you, there's so many exciting things going on, and this year we are renovating our emergency department. And that is underway. It is going to be amazing. Um, I think everybody will be pleasantly surprised. We are also doing a lean process in our emergency department. And so our door to dock time is about 14 minutes. Wow. On average. So um, our goal was to get it to 20. And we've surpassed that goal. And we're going to see how low we can go. Well, that's amazing, and, and you know, that's someone's first concern when they unfortunately have to take advantage of an emergency room facility is they already have a problem and, and they feel they need to have it addressed as quickly as they possibly Absolutely. can. Absolutely. And it sounds like you folks have made great strides to see that that we time need, is as short as possible. We need to do that. That's, um, that's what we're there for, and we want to give them the best care possible as quickly as we can. That's fantastic. I know you have a lot of other uh, departments that really serve the community well. Is there, is there anything else that you're highlighting today at the Expo? We have a, a wealth um, of departments at our hospital. We have a very successful wound center who heals wounds on an average of less than eight weeks. We have our Gephardt Cancer Center, which is state of the art. It's, people just don't understand what we have in our community and how imp impressive it is. We have a cath lab that is phenomenal. Our uh, door to balloon, or excuse me, door to balloon time, which means from the time you enter the emergency room until the vessel is opened, is 14 minutes. Wow! So um, it's it's pretty amazing over there. So I wow. I can't speak highly enough. It sure sounds like it. We're very excited about what's going on there. Well, listen, if somebody wants to learn more about Fort Hamilton, um, do you have a website or a telephone number they could use? They can call 867 2000, or our website is. Kettering Health Network slash forthamiltonhospital.org. And we'd love to see you. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Linda. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Folks, Fort Hamilton Hospital is a premier medical facility in the Hamilton and Butler County area. You can't get better care anywhere. My guest right now is Bridget Behrman with The Y. Bridget, welcome so much. Thank you for having us. You know, we're having a great day out here at the Business Expo, but it's always a great day at The Y, isn't it? Absolutely. We have lots of fun educating people about what great things The Y is doing in our community. Well, let's talk about some of those great things. You know, you've got a, a name that just is resonant with everybody. If you haven't been to The Y yourself, your, your son or daughter's been in a Y sports program or, or something, what's new at The Y today? The Y is, in a, in a nutshell, we're for social development, we're for healthy living, and we're for youth development. And the main thing is that we're here to provide every aspect we can for our community to give back every day that we can. Wonderful. Um, how many facilities do you have in our area? We have seven facilities in the Butler County area. We have six membership branches and a resident camp as well. Wow. So no matter where you live, where you're hearing this, uh, this broadcast right now, you have no excuse for not going to the Y. You have no excuse. Anywhere you go, you can find one of our local Great Miami Valley YMCA's in your area. And all these facilities serve youth, adults, seniors, babies, whatever you have in your family, we can service that family member. That's fantastic. You know, uh, something special is, is going on today, not only the Business Expo today, but I understand it's your 21st birthday. 
I would love to say it's my 21st birthday, <laughs> but I'm a few years ahead of that. <laughs> but it is your birthday, It is my birthday. Thank you very much. Well, happy birthday <laughs> to you. You couldn't have celebrated on a better day. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure people are going to hear this and they're going to want to make contact with their local Y. How should they go about doing that? The best way to go is either call us at our main number at 513-887-0001 or visit our website at www.gmvymca.org. Okay, Bridget, thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you so much, Bill. Folks, you know the Y is near yet. You know it has great programs. It's good for your kids, good for you, good for your parents. Don't hesitate. Pick up the phone today. Give them a call. My guest right now is Neil Cohen with Cohen USA. Neil, welcome to the Expo. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. You know, it's a, it's a real exciting day for us, and uh, we get to see a lot of people come through here, but there are no business in this hall today that's more recognizable than Cohen. Tell us what's going on with you folks right now. Well, in Hamilton, we've just expanded over the last year to the old Champion Paper Warehouse, a new entrance on Black Street, pretty significant investment in our operations in Hamilton. We have some more employees, we have some wide open spaces and a drive through operation. And uh, I think that it's a much more agreeable experience for our customers, which is really what we're after. You talk about your customers. Talk a little bit about the services that you offer and, and why customers should seek you out. Well, at our location, anybody can come in with metal uh, that they choose to get recycled, and we will work you through the process and help you unload your material, identify the material, and actually pay you cash for that material. On a bigger scale, we are uh, scrap buyers, scrap metal buyers in the entire industrial complex, actually between Columbus and Lexington, Kentucky, and a little bit of Indiana, a little bit of Tennessee. We have 25 plus locations all over that area. Wow, that's amazing. So for those of us who might know you most just in the Hamilton area, you go much beyond that. We do. Our corporate offices are in Middletown. And our company was started as Cohen Brothers Incorporated over 90 years ago by my grandfather and his brother. So we have a lot of history and uh, we've been very active in our communities as well. Wonderful. Well, I know you do a great service to us. People can come to you and, and uh, not only get rid of the materials they no longer need, but, but get a little money in the exchange as well. That's correct, and everybody could use a little more cash, I think. Neil, I know that Cohen USA is probably best known for their, their metal processing, but I understand you're getting into an interesting new field right now. Tell us a little bit about that. We are. We've uh, taken on the electronics processing field, and we've taken it on with a vengeance, actually, and we're really promoting a new marketing program in an aggressive way because everyone has electronics of some sort that they're trying to get to find a place to recycle whether it's a CPU unit or an old cell phone or a battery pack and many, many other things that are in the electronics field. We've recently been certified at, at R2 certification, which is a quality certification to handle those things, and we handle them safely and environmentally correctly, and it's a new program that we're really excited about. Well, listen, I know people are going to want to take advantage of, of that very offer, so how should they reach out to you? How can they make contact with Cohen USA? Well, you can go on the internet and look up our website, Cohen USA. All of our locations will be listed there. So anywhere you are in that area I described, you can find a Cohen location to sell some scrap. In Hamilton, you would get to us off of Black Street. So if you were crossing the Black Street Bridge from the west side of town, or if you're running down Martin Luther King Boulevard towards the power house, you would make a left on Black Street and you'd be right at our location. Okay. Well, fantastic. We really appreciate it, Neil. Thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank you very much. Folks, Cohen USA has been processing uh, metals in our area for over 90 years. They're your first stop for metal processing. Reach out to them today. I'm joined by Kelly Vericker with Miller Coors. Uh, Kelly, uh, welcome to the Expo. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Miller Coors has such a great presence in our community. The, the huge plant that you've got out in the Trenton vicinity, and, and of course I can't imagine a refrigerator anywhere within the sound of my voice that doesn't have a Miller Coors product in it. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about, uh, about the uh, products that Miller Coors does offer to the community. So Miller Coors has a wide variety of products. There's a lot of uh, brands that most people aren't familiar that are Miller Coors products. You know, we have our flagship uh, Miller brands and Coors brands, but we also have the Line and Kugel brands, and Blue Moon is also one of our um, smaller batches that we have. 
Well, I got to tell you, it, it may be no secret to the people who know me, but from time to time, I enjoy a nice adult beverage. And truthfully, uh, the Line and Kugel wine's fantastic. Blue Moon happens to be my latest favorite. Those are some great products. Those are some great products. Those are some of our smaller brands that we have, but they are growing very much in popularity. So we hope that people continue to enjoy those. Now, are all those products actually uh, bottled at the uh, plant in Trenton? We do um, almost all of the Miller and Coors products. The Line and Kugel products are uh, made up in Wisconsin, and Blue Moon is made in some of our other breweries. I see. Okay. Well, the only question I think I have remaining is, was it your idea to make the mountains on the Coors can turn blue? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot take <laughs> credit for that, but that is a very cool innovation we have, not only on our cans, but also on our bottle labels. That, that is really pretty interesting, because I know I've taken advantage of the mountains turning blue more than once myself. Perfect. That's great. Well, listen, if people want to know more about Miller Coors and the products that they have, how can they find out more? Uh, you can visit our website at www.millercoors.com, and also you can call the brewery. Um, we'll be more than welcome to share any information with you. Well, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank you, Bill. Folks, Miller Coors, you know the company, you know the products, and chances are you've got them in your refrigerator right now. If you don't, head out to your local grocery store and pick some up today. I'm sitting now with Morgan Carbone from Signery 2. Morgan, welcome. Thank you. You know, you're with Signery 2, as you well know, because it's right on your name tag. Um, and, and signs are really important for businesses. It's always been my impression. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think people forget a lot about drive-by traffic and walk-by traffic. And it's important to put your name out there where your business is located so they know that you're even there. I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I've had occasion on, on different times to, to buy a sign. And, and I think it's more than just showing people where they need to turn into your business. It's the face of your business, isn't it? Yes, it represents your business, the style, everything reflects on your business and what you represent, for sure. I think that's a, that's a great concept to keep in mind when you're thinking about your marketing concerns for your business. Absolutely. And I'm guessing that Signery 2 does lots of different kinds of signs, is that right? Interior, exterior, um, promotional signage, temporary signage, vehicles, yeah, we do pretty much them all. Wow, and I'm also guessing that you guys might know some of the intricacies of zoning if a company wants to get a sign. Absolutely, not the best part of my job, but yes, we have to know zoning, building permits, whatnot. We can take care of all that for you as well. So if anybody's interested in a sign, not only can you guys give them the creative signing that they need, but you think can take care of some of the back of the house kind of functions that nobody likes to do. Right, exactly. We don't like to do it, but we do do it. <laughs> we have to do it. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm sure people are going to look at their own signs in front of their businesses and say, you know what, it's really time to give that thing a facelift or start from scratch. And if they want to contact Signery2 to help them out with that, how can they do that? Signery2 at gmail.com or 738-3048. If you have any questions or need a quote, we're happy to provide that for you. Fantastic. Hey, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank we you. appreciate that. Thank you. Folks, your sign is the face of your business. Don't have a bad face to your potential customers. Contact Signery2 today and get that beautiful new sign that's going to bring you new customers. Uh, the gentleman to my right is Doug Siles, and he's with Riverbank Cafe in Hamilton. Doug, how are you doing today? Doing great. You know, Riverbank Cafe has really established itself very quickly as a great, great dining facility in Hamilton. Tell us about what's going on at Riverbank today. Well, we're uh, just celebrating our fifth year. Uh, we have uh, some events coming up in September. We're going to do a, a full week of um, celebration. Uh, we invite everybody to come on out. We uh, have been uh, developing lots of new specials. Uh, one of the specials we're, uh, that we brought here today was uh, Low Country Shrimp and Grits. Uh, I th think a lot of people enjoyed that. Uh, we're trying to develop uh, a number of different things. Uh, Riverbank has been very successful in what they've been doing up to this point, but uh, uh, they're on their fifth year anniversary now, and then we want to keep growing. And uh, in Hamilton, uh, we really believe in the Hamilton surrounding the community, and uh, we've got a lot of support from them. Uh, the chamber has been doing a a lot of great things, and this expo has uh, been great for bringing a lot of people out to, to see what, what is available in Hamilton. 
you know, that's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that you're getting the kind of traffic you're getting at the expo itself. Because I think maybe a lot of people, if they haven't been to the riverbank, they kind of assume, well, it might be good pub food. Right. But you guys go way beyond that. Uh, Low Country Shrimp and Grits is not your average hamburger. No, no. Uh, we're trying to kick it up a notch, taking it to steal a freight <laughs> from Emerald. Uh, I believe in, 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 in the seasoning food without over-seasoning it. Um, we like to do some different flavors, and uh, we like to take suggestions. Uh, uh, people's uh, old family recipes, things that they, they haven't had for a long time, we like for them to bring, uh, bring in those ideas, and uh, we like to bring them to life. Uh, we're doing a little program uh, that we, we call a, a guest chef for the evening. Uh, and it doesn't mean you have to come and, and work in our kitchen. I was going to say, well, it's, it's hot back there. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you would uh, pick a menu item and, uh, and tell us how you'd like to prepare it. And then uh, you get to come in and brag to all your friends about uh, how you've got a menu item on uh, the Riverbank Cafe menu. Well, now that's really different and worth visiting for. There's no doubt about that. Well, for those of, uh, of our listening audience that might not be aware of where you're located, tell us where you're at. We're on the corner of B Street and Main Street. Uh, right when you cross the bridge, uh, you'll come right on it. I believe it's called the Old Bird Building. And uh, that's where you'll find us uh, seven days a week. Fantastic. Uh, if they want to give you a call, do you have a phone number they can use? We do. It would be 896-1666. Great. And by any chance, do you have any online menus they could take a peek at? They do have online menus, and I, you know, I'm not going to be able to tell you what that, uh, that website would be called. Uh, probably Riverbank Cafe, you can do a search and you'll find it. We're going to count on our viewers to be able to use a search engine to find Riverbank Cafe. They could. And they're going to see those great dishes on that fantastic menu of yours, and they'll be coming through the door in droves. Okay. We thank you so much for being with us today, Doug. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, folks, if you haven't been to the Riverbank Cafe yet, this weekend you got to go. Call them up, look them up, or just go to their location. Whatever you have to do, you're going to have a great dining experience. Dennis Owens is my guest right now. He's with Secure Futures. And Dennis, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. A little hot. Yeah, it is a little warm here at the Business Expo. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, speaking of hot, investments are always hot. People are always looking for ways to manage their money more efficiently. And I understand that's what Secure Futures is all about. Yes, we do. What we do, actually, we invest in uh, annuities, you know, and we do annuities, life insurance, and long-term care. Okay. Very safe investments. Well, certainly those are products that everybody needs to take advantage of. And, and I know people are a little uncertain right now. They're, they're concerned about our economic times. What's, what's your best advice for people who are looking to make some investments and try to secure their future? Well, right now it all depends on actually how young you are or old you are, what you want to do with the money. And a lot of people right now are concerned, like, am I acquiring enough? Is it going to be there when I'm ready to draw from it? And those are the type of investments that we show people to be in that your money's safe, and you want to make sure your money's here. Yes, it's nice to get a good return, but it's nice to have the money here when, you, when you're ready to use it. You know, I think a misperception among a lot of people is that they've been paying into a company pension or they've had Social Security or, or they think that their retirement is taken care of, but frequently that's not the case, is it? No, it's not. Matter of fact, times have changed a lot. When I was younger and uh, parents were working and that, they had pensions at the companies. The companies were going to say, hey, we'll give you this. You work so long. What's well, not like that now? And there's other, a lot of companies, unions and everything, where they were going to get a large amount retired. Now they're not going to get that. People now are going to have to really look into their own retirements and uh, investments for down the road that they never did, they felt safe before about, or in Social Security. Is it going to be there when we retire? Right now we have to really, uh, you know, you have to look and say, the good thing is the younger you are and you start putting a little bit, don't have to put as much away. The older you get, the more you have to put away for that. I agree with you wholeheartedly, and I, I think one of the things certainly that I've been guilty of, I think other people have been guilty of, is they don't ask the question. They don't sit down with a professional like yourself and say, mm -hmm. here are the facts. How am I fixed for my retirement? Yeah. I imagine you do consultations, don't oh, you? Oh, quite a few of them. Yes, that's what we do for no charge. We sit down. And you know what? The, uh, as I said, the younger you are to start your program, the less you really got to put in, you know, especially when you know it's going to be there. And uh, I try to sit down with people that uh, have acquired in their lifetime, just as important to keep what you have. Also, starting earlier about putting money away for when you retire, you got to have your money working for you. Great advice, great advice. Well, Dennis, thank you so much for being with us today. We, we appreciate your time. Oh, thank you very okay. much. Secure futures, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody wants to have one, but it's not going to happen if you don't plan it. 
See Dennis Owens at Secure Futures and start your planning today. My guest right now is Kristen Shalandis with the Berry Company. You've heard of them before, and she's going to tell us more about it. Kristen, welcome to the Expo. Thank you so much. Now, you are with the Berry Company. That's a well-known name. Anybody in business knows Berry, but I'm guessing they may not know everything. Tell us what we need to know about the Berry Company. Absolutely. So, as most of our viewers probably know, the Berry Company is known for their efforts in the original search engine, which is the Yellow Pages. Yes. We began a very long time ago. Lauren and Barry himself began our journey in 1910 and we are very proud to still be alive and functioning today well as you and I both know today technology has changed consumer tr trends have changed while the Berry company also has had to have changed and with that we also offer amazing online opportunities to promote businesses with whatever they need whether it's branding exposure or trying to acquire brand new customers jobs clients patients we give them an opportunity to be found on the most used available units. We're talking Google, Yahoo, Bing, YP.com. We also promote websites and video. We're also pleased to announce that we have another opportunity and partnership that allows us to provide Facebook business pages. Because again, nowadays, technology and social networking are very abundant and very popular, not only to us personally, but as a business to get their name out there. You know, I couldn't agree with you more. What I do is marketing. And certainly, there are those folks who, who demand that they have a phone book by their, their home phone or their office phone. But more and more, people are using online resources to make contact with companies. But you know, if you've gone to Google or Bing or something else and just put in a phone number or a company name, Sometimes you're lost in a maze of results. Absolutely. I don't want my company lost in that. Absolutely, and believe it or not, a lot of small and medium-sized business owners don't realize that across the board, their information is inconsistent, or it doesn't even exist. And we're talking basic information, a business name, an address, and a telephone number, and that's actually another opportunity that we provide, which is called online listing monitoring, which allows us to find those gaps where they exist and an opportunity for us to partner together and close those gaps so that no matter where anyone is looking locally on Google, Yahoo, or Bing, that business can be found. You know, that, that's just imperative in today's highly competitive business world. If you're, not be, if you're not able to be found online, you're lost. Absolutely. And Barry can help us get there. If Most that's definitely. Our business. Wonderful. And as soon as in 10 days. Wow, that's So fast. in 10 days, who wouldn't want to be on the first page of Google? Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm sure people are going to want to make contact with you to get this going for their business and make sure they're on that first page of Google. How can they reach out to the Berry Company? Well, again, my name is Kristen Shalandis, and I am located and available in our downtown Cincinnati office. I encourage everyone to go and check online through berrymeansbusiness.com, and they will be able to connect with me locally here in the area. Wonderful. Well, Kristen, thanks so much for being with us today. We sure appreciate it and appreciate you telling us what Barry can do for business. Thank you so much. Folks, if you have a business, you have to be known online. You are not going to want to try to take that job on yourself. Call the pros, call Barry today, and let them help get your business on that first page in Google. I have two guests with me right now. The one on two legs is Jill Grissom, but we've got a special four-legged guest with us as well. Jill is with Vitas. Jill, how are you doing today? We're having a wonderful day. Hey, tell us a little bit about Vitas and who you've brought to the set with you. I work for Vitas Innovative Hospice Care, and who I have with me today is Cody, and Cody is one of our Paw Pals. What's a Paw Pal? Well, what we find with our patients is that um, when they are very ill and um, have to be in a nursing home setting or assisted living or in the hospital, um, they miss having pets of their own. So what we do is fill that void and take in wonderful animals like Cody. Wow, what a great, great service that is. How long have you guys been doing this sort of thing? Um, I can't give you the exact, but close to 15 years. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. So it's obviously a program that's been very successful. Yes, it's growing. I've got probably 55 dogs Holy that volunteer cow. for me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And Cody is one of those that just... You know, obviously you can tell by looking at him, uh, he do, he's doing exactly what he's meant to do, except the crying at this moment. <laughs> well, you know, this is a pretty intense atmosphere for a dog. We've got some PA announcements being made, and we've got lots of lights. He's, he's being a good boy under these circumstances, I'll tell you. 
Uh, he sees somebody he knows, obviously. Ah, that makes all the difference. Yeah. <laughs> So this, this is a wonderful thing. I, I could see all sorts of possibilities. I could see people who, who might want to, to know where they could put somebody in a hospice facility that has this kind of a service, mm -hmm. but I could also see how people might want to work with these animals and, and be one of those caregivers. Well, my main purpose today is to be here to recruit volunteers. Uh -huh. uh, we probably have 15 to 20 different volunteer opportunities um, through our VTOS hospice program. Paul Pals is just a piece of it. Uh, we have veterans um, that come and visit our patients that are veterans. We, uh, we have hairstylists that go into homes and fix a person's hair because they can't get out. Um, just story keepers, I can go on and on. So the uh, availability and everything that we have for um, volunteers uh, goes on and on. And as far as opportunities, just contact me. Okay, Come here, buddy. And, and how can they contact you, Jill, if they'd like to be a volunteer? Okay, uh, they can contact me uh, directly by phone at 513-742-7429, um, or you can go to our website at vitas.com and click on volunteer. Wonderful. Well, Jill, thanks so much for being with us today, and thank you, Cody, for being part of the show as well. Folks, this is an outstanding effort to, to help people have comfort in a desperate time of their lives. If you'd like to be a part of this and take advantage of any of the volunteer opportunities that Jill just mentioned, please reach out to VTOS today. The gentleman to my right is Todd Collins with First Light Home Care. Todd, welcome to the Business Expo. Thank you very much. First Light, tell us a little bit about what you folks do. First Light is a non-medical home health care company. We help uh, folks stay at home as long as they possibly can by uh, providing services such as companionship care all the way up to personal care. You know, that's an outstanding service, and I think more and more we find people who have uh, folks that are they're trying to stay in the home longer and they need to have some care, but they don't need intense medical care yet, and it sounds like you fulfill that need. Absolutely, we, we, and we love what we do as well. It, uh, we have the opportunity to create great relationships with these folks in their homes. That's fantastic. Have you seen an upswing of people trying to take advantage of your services? Absolutely. There's a, there's, there's a tremendous need in the community as it is right now. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of communication out there as to the services that we provide. So it's up to people like myself to share the story through the community of Hamilton, through, uh, through the community of Fairfield here in the area, to help them understand that these services are available to them. That's great. Uh, I got to imagine there's a lot of folks out there that are watching us right now who would say, you know, that absolutely fulfills a need that I have. Um, how can people make contact with First Light? Well, the phone number is going to pop up on the screen here, so grab a pen and you'll have an opportunity to write it down. And uh, we'll be happy to sit down and talk to you about what your needs are and how we might be able to help you with that. Very good. Well, Todd, thanks a million for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to the Expo as well. Okay. Folks, home care, you know that it's an issue today, and chances are you know someone who needs that. Reach out to First Light for your home care services. My guest is Kim McKay with The Main Look. Kim, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Tell us about The Main Look. What kind of uh, place is it, and what do you do for us? We are a full-service salon located at 401 Main Street, right next to Richard's Pizza on the corner of Main and E in between Richard's and Ritzy's Body Shop. Okay, so fantastic location. I think mm -hmm. everybody knows where Richard's is. Being next door to them is great. Yeah. Um, when it comes to salon services, give us a sample of what you folks do. Well, we do everything from cut and color to permanent waves. They're still coming back. People still coming in for those. We do extensions as well. We do the clip-in extensions. We do um, all haircuts of all types. We do body waxing. We do facials. We do skincare of all type. We carry Murad and we do nails. We do the new shellac nail polish and we do pedicures. Wow, so there's, there's nothing that anyone could want that you guys don't do. No, we pretty much handle it all. Do you, uh, do you only uh, exclusively serve women, or could a fellow like me come in and, and get services? About 20% of our clientele, 25% is men. We no do kidding. quite a few men. Could, could you do anything for me? I'm having a real color problem here on my goatee. Well, the new latest thing is the 10-minute color for men. When our economy kind of went south and a lot of men were out of jobs, 
um, the beauty business went into a 10 minute color that you put on and you it literally just does gray fading and it looks wonderful. Quite a few men, I did it for everybody complimentary and they loved it and all my male clientele, they were graying and um, they love it and they've all continued to do it. It takes 10 years off. Wow. Well, I could use 10 years yeah. taken off of me. That's fantastic. So with all those services, I'm sure our viewers are going to want to make contact with you. How can they make contact with the main look? Well, they can contact us at 896-9456, or they can check out our, web, our website at themainlook.com, or we're on Facebook as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, Kim, thanks so much for being with us. Thank we you. sure appreciate it, and I'm sure we're going to have customers flooding into the main look, especially those of us with the gray goatees. Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks. The main look, it's your one-stop salon. Male or female, they can make you look your best. Call the main look today. Carol Bowling is my guest right now. She's with Lane Library. Carol, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well this afternoon, thank you. You know, uh, I have fond, fond memories of the Lane Library in my youth. And uh, I, there was uh, some wonderful programs there when I was a boy where you would hear your favorite authors read to you. And they just created magical moments for me in my youth. I bet you guys are still in that kind of business, aren't you? We absolutely do that every day for children, teens, and adults. And we do it in many ways for them, too. Whether it's a magical moment with a book or a DVD or a music CD or somebody's discovering a new internet site that helps them with their homework assignment or finding a new job. Uh, we have something for almost everybody. That's wonderful, and I know Lane has established itself as such a, such a wonderful community resource in Hamilton for so many years, but when I think of Lane, I, I go back to my youth and I think of that beautiful old building down on 3rd Street, I believe it is, but that's, that's not at all the only place you have a location now, is we it? We also have a wonderful location in Fairfield that's 11 years old now, a beautiful building on um, uh, Village Green, and we have a lovely library up in Oxford also. And our bookmobile stops at a number of sites in the area and goes to a lot of the local schools during the school year. You know, the bookmobile was another thing I always looked forward to when I was a kid in school. That was another wonderful moment where you could browse the books and, and be taken to whole new worlds by virtue of Lane Library. Absolutely. The world is open if you come to Lane Library. Now, I'm guessing that in today's world, you guys don't just work with ink on paper anymore. You've, you've embraced the electronic age, haven't you? We've embraced it wholeheartedly. We do much of our work on computers now. And because we know that so many people are getting into providing uh, e-devices, Nooks, Kindles, iPads, you name it, we provide uh, computer classes to show people how to use them, how to download electronic books onto their devices, et cetera. We really have embraced all forms of information and are going to help you use them. Well, I'll tell you what, if my life is any indication, the Lane Library can pay a, play a pivotal role in, in the lives of young people and adults every day of the week. I know people are going to want to find out more. How can they contact you? They can contact us either through our website via email at www.lanepl.org or they can certainly call our general phone number which is 513-894-7156 and talk to an individual and find out anything they need to know. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thanks so much for being with us here today and My telling pleasure. us what's happening at Lane Library these days. My pleasure. Folks, the Lane Library has been creating magical moments since I was a boy, and that's an awful long time ago. They continue to do it today. Contact the Lane Library. Let them help you have your magical moment today. Well, there you have it, folks. It's been a great day out at the 22nd Annual Chamber Business Expo here in Hamilton. We've seen a ton of different businesses, made lots of connections, and I think a few friends. It's been a wonderful show, and if you weren't here this year, please put it on your calendar to come out and see the 23rd Annual Business Expo in 2013. I want to thank you for joining us. We also want to thank the, uh, the folks who make all of this possible that, uh, that we're viewing here today. And we want to give a special thanks to Glenn Stacy. He'll be sorely missed. And a thank you to the Stacy family for providing all of the wonderful greenery and flowers for all of these business expos. I'm Bill Salazzo. It's been a pleasure being with you here. We'll see you next year.